all right so um welcome back um this time around we are going to look at how to set up our school management system so to set up school management system we come to settings then we'll come to general settings now when you click on general settings it loads the general settings page okay so this is um, the general settings so here you are required to um um, enter your school details and then we have a little hint here that when you point on it it tells you what you are supposed to enter in a box so set your site title here so your school name I have the viral school then phone number then I enter the phone number email address then auto invoice generated I said no depending on you if you want to generate invoice automatically you can drop down and select yes then currency code which is um gh series and then we have the symbol which is series they'll have um your footer message which is copyright with the copyright symbol then the viral school then we have address we have the language that we'll be using which is um english by default and we have um default attendance which is is it per day or by subject so you have to select which one so is it by um day wise attendance or subject wise attendance so if it is by day or by subject you have to um mark that as well and they will have academic year which is what 2017 to 2018 so we currently have two academic years so i can switch to um 2018 to 2019 so that's it and then we have note and then note is currently set to yes and then we have um google analytic and then um, currently i don't have any code for it then we have logo i can select a logo and then currently max setting we have only what exams and later we'll be adding other marks as well to um the max settings so that's some um, the settings from um, in lab school management system that you have to fill this form to set up your school details on it so if you're able to set up this form then these details will run through every form every invoice every receipt every mail every sms that you send these details will be picked from um these settings to run through for the whole software so thank you we'll break here then we'll come back with our next looking at how to add students um, to the database